Alrighty, let's check this out. Definitely fun to see. Uh, saw your questions. I think what I would do, um, I know you're asking for minor changes, but I'm going to just give you all my thoughts and then you can just pick and choose. Around here, the camera is okay because we're somewhat centered with a bit more in the thirds. And then at the end, we kind of overshoot in our center. I think that's okay. Just at the beginning, it's okay to enter, but then the camera really leads for quite some time. That gives us such, so much room there that I would have the, the creature just come in and by around here-ish, you can start moving the camera so that we're maybe here for for this whole beginning. That's the only thing I would say here. Just weird. I'm not sure why we're panning so early and it gets almost a bit edgy and like we're almost expecting something to come up here and like, rawr, another creature there, but nothing's happening. So a slight reframe, I think would be good. I like that you're bringing back the uh, the wings not sure with this drift thing. It's cool. There's just something about when you go down and now you're, you're like, I don't mind this being a bit more curled. I would have almost the same thing here. It's a bit flat, just silhouette wise. It looks a bit odd, but if you're going like this, there's something where just visually it starts to lock through there, but you still want a little bit more of a drop. I mean, it's not it's not crazy. I like that. I mean, you can have a bit of variation with this, but I'm probably also more reacting to this moment. Like, I like that you go down because now the wings go up. But the thing is here, it's definitely too static where at this point it would still drop, 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 drop until, you know, here about where I will bring those wings a bit lower. So basically, you're, sli you're uh, gliding down. And then after that, with that slowdown here, it's not going to have that much energy. Definitely can't go up so quickly. This works better that you're pushing up here into this, but it's just, it's just that moment to me is a bit wonky where it feels a bit like suddenly we're a bit static. Just a bit. Soften that a little bit more. Definitely through there. This doesn't quite work physics wise to me. And then on, on a on a, like a drift like this, I'm sure it's how how creature is that is for something that big, but it is fun to watch though. But I would turn that head over a bit more this way. Just a bit. Because now it feels like that head really stays locked. Almost a bit too IK wise. And then there's a little bit of a like a pose to pose feel of whip like this. Everything hits that pose. This goes over, stops, head goes up, stops, the wings get into that new position, stop, and now everything moves into a different position. So I would have a bit more overlap between the body parts to get this a bit more of an like, organic feel, if that makes sense. Yeah, this one really stands out to me, it doesn't quite work. That one works better, but then after this, what happens is that you have, you go up, and then here again, I think we had that last time, where you go up, and then it kind of, like, even pose-wise, you're a bit stuck in this body pose, and then we almost glide forward. See this? And even here, we're down, and already going up before the wings are really down. Like, like around here, for the last bit, maybe here, the body goes up, but we are already going up, the royal we. We are already going up way too soon, which gives it that, that kind of unrealistic weight, gliding feel. I'm all for offsets. This feels almost a bit too much. It got, it got wounded, also silhouette-wise. I would always avoid such flat lines, because at least, even though with this kind of modeling of that, of that creature, you still have a broader shape. If it's that thin, we start to see all the little, you know, the little changes there in the line. It just makes it just a bit too frail looking. But I would take down that offset here. I still feel like like this was already pretty big towards the end. I would I would personally not add more. Like now it feels like a frog. 
I will, I will bring those legs together. Like this, but now you're also losing the silhouette, but it just feels very frog-like. It's almost, it's almost cartoony. Where again, I will bring in the knees, and that could be an offset. It's just a bit strong to me. Very subjective, but. And hold on, again, I want to look at the ups and downs. That works. And then it gets off, but now we're going. Shoo. Now we shoot up, and now it's like we're really pinned. The wings don't move anymore. The body's just kind of pinned going forward. You still need a bit more, more up and down. You just want to avoid anything where, A, we go up too soon because the wings are not there yet with the force to bring it up. And then to not have the hang time drop. Now you're doing, that's what this feels like. And you're asking about the butt in front of the chest. I don't know. I'm all for contrast. But I think if you do it right at the end, maybe more towards the end. Because my concern is that now that we're here, it just feels like almost like a human <laughs> trying to fly versus a bit more the that kind of creature -y flight dynamic aspect that makes a bit more sense. This just feels like it's so low hanging there. Again, with the legs out. Just for me, in terms of just appeal, it's not it's not quite working. And then watch out. This suddenly gets really fast. That flip of the wings. And then once we hear how just everything moves forward. So to me, it would be more you're, you're not going back just yet. Because it's not, you're just extending the legs. It's not a sudden drop where everything has to extend. So a bit more like this. Again, I would still, I think I mentioned last time, a bit further back. And then around here, when it lands and slips, that's the sudden jolt that makes the body go, whoa, off balance and the head drags. But this to me feels way too early in this. And it just adds to that constant vertical feel to it. Like that, like all this feels more dragony, creaturey. But now we're getting into like, we're just so vertical all the time. Then you get those really vertical lines again where it just feels almost human. And then let me see, this felt a bit odd where you go, you go down, it's a bit fast through there. And especially the recovery was we're stopping. It hits like a bit of a wall there. And I would just have a bit of a softer return. But even then, now we're getting it into like, again, super straight legs. That feels almost a bit broken here. I would just reduce this a bit. And then look at it, like this feels like the knee's pointing this way and this is pointing this way. I mean, knee, quote unquote, right? But it just feels like that feels broken. And this is too straight where I would just kind of almost here broken here too. Where I would just kind of stay within the creaturey aspect of that, that leg structure. And it's a bummer that it's not this leg, because now we kind of... It's not too bad. Silhouette's okay. Right at the end, it gets a bit muddled, but... I'm more wondering about the balance. I know the wings keep that guy forward, but... There's a slight feel of... Like to me, if, you do, if you're going down this far, and now it's like nothing is holding this dragon up besides the wings. So once... This, especially once this leg goes off, now all the weight is here. And then, then I would almost flatten and push those wings down a bit. Especially this guy has room to go from this shape to that shape. Just so it shows that there's pressure. As the creature goes up, pressure is on this way to go up this way. Otherwise, it feels a bit magical how it can just go whip and goes back up. And then careful, I would probably delay that a little bit. Because technically, if you let go here, this guy is still off balance. It would only be holding on to this. So if you lift this up, it would start to lean this way. This would have to tighten here. Again, just balance and weight wise, I'm not quite buying this just yet. So again, you imagine this is off. So all the weight is here and pushes itself up here through the wings. I would wait up until it's more around like the very last 
minute where it feels more balanced and then you can take that wing off but even then now we're having just super straight legs it just, it just has that human feel to me I think, I think that's like the main the main um thought that i have and this feels a bit like a fishing hook just kind of goes up it's really strong with that last bit here where i would just go a bit softer Yeah, I just I know everything has that vertical feel. Like that's that's my that's where it bumps to me. Where I would just I would go back into a bit more of a a bend, a forward move. You can have a bit of a silhouette there with an arc, but then that tail into this, and then maybe flatter wings. You know, it gets tricky with the overlap here, but broaden this so it's not so thin and upright. If that makes sense. That's just me as well as of you know always just subjective you can take whatever you need from that feedback and that's it thanks all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you <laughs>